Hey guys, welcome to part two to uh, <laughs> my long journey to becoming an advisor. Look, if you're really interested, this is my backstory. It's my life story on the advisory business side, okay? In part one, I've already covered about my family, why I went to business school, what I did after business school, how I got into real estate, the financial advisory I did. And I was talking about one of my mentors who, with whom I opened a company back in 2008. Okay, um, I had a minority stake of uh, 20% in that company and some investments that we'd already done with the top tier developers like Imar and Nakhil, okay? What happened afterwards? All right, show real fast. All right, guys, welcome back. So what happens is 2008, I return, I come back, uh, August, I get married. Uh, my mentor's in the UK. I think he's playing golf in Scotland. He's having a great time as well. Uh, also my business partner, he flies back in. By September, October, we should be ready to take on the world, right? Because we're licensed, we're fully equipped. Guess what? The global financial crisis comes in. Uh, shit hits the fan pretty fast, okay? Uh, super, super fast. Now, what ends up happening is, market here slows down like you, you won't believe it like 2008 cityscape when i went there people were dying like there were people with 45 apartments that they had invested in i had somebody who had invested in like 45 or 60 apartments and the guy's like just desperately trying to sell one or two to exit himself but at that stage when it was so bad nobody was willing to buy it at any price like you wouldn't you couldn't give it for free to anybody that's how 2008 october was that's how bad it was okay anyways i was still you could say i was young right 27 years old and to be honest with you i felt the world's ended everybody thought the world's ended uh, we kind of like didn't wind up the real estate company immediately. That went on for a while. My mentor moved back. I kind of st stayed in Dubai. I was married. I kept doing what I could. Um, and I was still involved in real estate, by the way. So in 2009, one of my friends, very close friend, he's looking to buy a massive piece of land uh, up to 2 million dirhams. And he engages me for my services. He thinks I'm a great business entrepreneur, investor, not, not an investor, but somebody who will be able to guide him on what to buy, how to buy, which I do to the best of my ability at that stage. Granted, it's about 14 years, 13 years ago. Um, but one of the things that was super critical for him to purchase with this plot of land was that he wanted it to be, he wanted it to be close to a mosque are a masjid okay so we did a lot of due diligence of understanding complete uh, master plans of the community and then understanding where they are what's going on what's coming what's going to be built to tell you a backstory just fyi that masjid that was supposed to be built close to his house or that villa plot never got built but that's okay because he ended up actually moving from the country and he ended up not building a house over there okay but from 2009 to 2012, I do some proprietary work in technology, but I'm still involved in real estate uh, because I'm, I'm reselling to some of my old clients. There are people who are coming to me for help. There are people who are looking for my advice. But 2012 is when the market really turns, right? Um, if I could look back, I would say, hey, it would be nice to actually between 2009 and 12 to be completely involved in Dubai real estate market, deep, deep into it, instead of just being on the periphery and looking at a few deals here and there. Because if you're completely fully involved, nothing, uh, nothing like it. If you're fully completely involved, you're just at the next level in terms of uh, how you're going to be operating in terms of what's happening in the market, so on and so forth, okay? But by 2012, things are completely, changing around uh, remember in 2008 one of the properties that we had invested in uh, with Imar we kind of like resell it in 2012 we get some money back from it and then in 2013 I'm very aggressively in real estate full-time I join a large fund that has about hundred million dollars invested in the Dubai market and I learned both sides of the equation I learned how to be very aggressive with sales but at the same time my mentor who was the managing director of the fund was also on a very advisory, he was also an advisor. He would actually advise people on how to structure, how to do deals, what to look for, what are the pitfalls, what are the risks. 
and the fund itself made some I would say some interesting decisions with the investments that they made as well. From that, I learned a lot. Like, you know, how not to also make an investment, how not to lose money, right? Uh, sometimes if you're too fast with your due diligence, but too shallow with it, uh, and you go too uh, aggressive and outbid others, guess what? You might end up actually suffering on the actual total price or the actual deal on the other side, okay? 2015, uh, I joined a company. I become a board member as well of this company. Uh, I work with them for about a year or so. But by 2016, what ends up happening is um, what ends up happening by 2016 is that I joined Keller Williams, top company, 180, 200,000 agents across the globe. One of the, I become, uh, I become, become part of the agent leadership council. So I'm guiding other agents. I'm steering other local agents over here. But one of, and I'm doing a lot of other trainings at that place as well. One of the things that Keller Williams taught me was they used to say that we're a training company. So they had a lot of insight on how real estate operates professionally. Um, it's something I gotta tell you. Like 2013, I actually. Uh, don't like the way real estate is done in Dubai. It's very ad hoc, very disorganized. So I sell, tell myself that I want it to be uh, completely organized. So 2013, I don't really like the way real estate is being done in Dubai. So I tell myself that I want to be organized about it. And the book that came up when I Googled it was the Millionaire Real Estate Agent by Gary Keller, Keller who, owns, who owned Keller Williams. And by 2016, like, I, I thank God greatly, Alhamdulillah, I'm working at Keller Williams in Dubai. Like, that's super amazing for me. And I spent three years over there and I learned a lot about the business. Did a lot of sales, did a lot of work as well, but I learned a lot about the business and I learned a lot about how to provide value to clients, okay? 2018, 2019, I have another mentor coach and he told me something very specific. He said, Fahd, you're not in the business of selling property. You're in the business of investing in your customers and your clients. And that's when I started actually thinking about this because he actually said one thing to me. If you take anything but this one thing from this video is that we never sell, you should never sell a property. You should only match them to the perfect property and then you should, they will invest in the property and you will invest in their life and future. And there's one thing, other thing that he said to me, he said, look, Fath, if anybody ever comes to you and is looking to actually invest into a property that you know is going to lose them money, you have to excuse yourself and say, no, I will not facilitate the purchase of this property. I will not facilitate this transaction of sale because I know it will lo lose you money and I am accountable ultimately uh, for my uh, what I've done uh, at the end of the day when I actually answer um, as a Muslim, we believe we're going to be answerable for this on the day of judgment. So I'm going to move out. I'm not going to actually let you do a wrong deal. At least it's not going to be happening through me, right? You can do it for other people with me. It's only good deals that make you money uh, to the best of our ability, okay? And that's where I think I started becoming more of an advisor more and more because I recognized just selling property wasn't the name of the game. Just buying property wasn't the name of the game. You're actually helping humans. You're actually helping people grow. That's the key to where you're going to be going in the future. So I hope that said, I hope that's given you a good background on where I've come from, where I'm going and how I became and my journey to becoming an advisor. All right, hit me up. There is a link below for a mentorship program. If you want to buy or purchase a property or sell a property, there are links again for that as well. I'll be more than happy to help you. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the 
subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.